decision on CMA part two, strategic financial management. In this session, we'll discuss about uh, corporate structure, the debt instruments, a company prices capital, issuing debt instruments called bonds, debentures, any other instruments which are going to be redeemed in the future means repaid in the future until then we pay interest so corporates raise capital in the form of ownership by issuing shares like preference shares and common shares corporates issue debt instruments to raise capital on long term basis so the capital structure is a combination of equity capital raised in the form of shares preference and uh, common and debt capital this topic discusses about uh, debt capital debt capital raised in the form of bonds bonds are the debt instruments issued by a corporate to public to other corporate companies to raise capital on long term basis say we are raising this capital by issuing debt securities and we pay interest we pay interest on annual basis or half yearly basis which is fixed or variable depending upon the terms which we mentioned in the bonds so the bond goes with some kind of interest means people who invest in bonds get interest from the company so we are issuing bonds we are paying interest on the investment okay and this amount we use on long term basis in the organization to procure some assets and use or in or some you know operations this amount is to be repaid after a certain period of time okay now we are issuing the bonds it can be a corporate it can be a government to an investor okay this will be treated as loan in simple terms it is treated as loan it means it it, it has to be repaid until then we pay interest say for example we are issuing bonds for a period of 10 years 10 years we pay interest to the investor to the bond holder this interest is called as coupon coupon the rate of interest is called as coupon rate so we pay interest to the investor who invest in bonds in our company called bond holder for a period of 10 years as per this example and in 10th year we are going to repay the amount because the bond amount is treated as loan the moment we pay the repay the bond amount we are relieved from interest burden till then we pay interest every year in the previous session we discussed about stocks nothing but the shares now we are discussing about bonds debt instruments see the major difference between stock and bond is the ownership okay people who invest in the shares enjoy the ownership interest whereas people who invest in the debt instruments become what the lenders lenders so we are promising them to pay back this amount along with the interest 
we borrowed this money. So there is no ownership given to a bondholder. And the invest, the investors in stocks get dividend from the profits of the company. Okay. So the share profits of the company. But bondholders, profit is not a matter to them. We pay interest irrespective of the profit. We pay interest to the bondholders. And uh, what about the guarantee payment to these investors? No, there is no guarantee that you get written when you invest on stocks. Okay, but there is a guarantee. Yes, we will pay you 6% interest. Irrespective of the profit of the company, you get 6% interest. Profit is not a matter to you. You get $6 for every $100 of investment. Of course, in the case of stocks, when a preference shareholder invests money, he will get some fixed dividend. So we cannot say no to everyone. Preference shareholder will get some fixed dividend. What we mean to say is the common shareholder. Then why should we invest in stocks? Why not we invest in bonds, isn't it? The market price for the stock depends on the profitability of the company. Okay, as you are becoming owner of the company, to the extent of the shares you bought, you got some voting rights. So you can participate in the, you know, vote, voting in passing the resolutions, electing the board directors. You can be elected as a director of the company. Bondholder, in case of, you know, the liquidation of the company, in case of liquidation of the company, in case of payment of interest, a preferential treatment is given to the bondholders. Means after paying to the bondholder, the remaining amount will be paid to the stockholder. There's a risk involved, right? So if there is no sufficient money, the stockholder will lose. These are the major differences between the bondholders and shareholders. Now we need to understand a few terms involved in bonds. Yield, yield rate, yield to maturity is nothing but the annual rate of return of a bond that is held to maturity. Okay, yield to maturity. When a bond is issued at the rate of 6%, and the bond value is $100. So this 6% is paid on $100 during this tenor of the bond, say five years. So all these five years, the bondholders will get at the rate of 6%. That is called yield rate or yield to maturity. So overall, in a five years period, you get 6% of $100 each year. And this $100 is called legal value or face value or principal value. The initial amount that is invested by the bondholder to own the bond. Maturity, the date on which bond expires. So that we'll have to pay the principal amount that is fifth year in this example. Okay, maturity period. So in the fifth year, we'll have to pay interest and the principal back to the bondholder. The coupon rate, coupon rate is nothing but the interest rate. Coupon rate is interest rate. So we mentioned very clearly that what amount of interest we are going to pay and how it is going to be paid. It is going to be paid semi-annually or annually that depends upon the, the bond instrument which is sell. So while selling the bond itself, you need to clearly mention that 9% five years, 10,000 bonds of $100 each. What does it mean? 9% yield rate. Uh, 
five years, the tenor, okay, maturity period. Ten thousand, the number of bonds, hundred dollars, the principal or face value, okay. This nine percent is also known as what? Coupon rate. Coupon rate. This is the end of the session on bonds. We'll have some more advanced topics about the types of bonds, bonds valuation, the advantages, disadvantages of issuing the bonds. We'll discuss all the topics in detail in the next session. Till then, have a good time. Happy learning. Are you a finance professional or an accounting student, but not so sure of your career options? How about CPA, CMA, CFA certifications? You'll be intrigued to know that the big four and multinational companies pay a handsome salary package to fresher with CPA, CMA, CFA certifications, and of course that's just the starting point. Let's Learn Global brings you biggest video lecture collection with 100 plus hours of video courses. CPA, CMA, CFA, video lectures, and notes which are perfect supplement to your certification journey. Certification Video Lectures is a series of video lectures to completely understand major certification from beginner to advanced level. The course is designed with the purpose of learning popular certifications in a series of video lectures. It contains a list of all popular certifications that are essential for a better future and career growth. By learning these popular video lectures one can easily clear certification exams, which provide skills that are highly demandable in the market. Sharpen your skills with our Academy app and you will get free courses on CPA, CMA, CFA. To get our course download Class Plus app. Android users can download our app from Google Play Store iOS users can download our app from Apple App Store and use our organization code Enrich to get our free courses. The course contains highly interactive video lectures with best in the industry features some are listed below. Comprehensive videos. 50 plus video lectures per subject. Practice exams. Desktop, laptop, mobile and tab friendly. Instructor support. Access anywhere. HD video lessons. No more long and boring video classes. Our lectures are crisp, precise, and to the point. Hurry, download our app today and get recognized globally with Let's Learn Global. For any assistance, you can WhatsApp or call at 0091 800